Hello everyone, this is the 1400 scale Dragon Wings NASA 747-123 SCA and Orbiter Enterprise. This model is produced by Dragon Wings in 2002 to 2003, wearing the standard NASA white livery for both vehicles. The aircraft was powered by four Pratt & Whitney JT9D high bypass turbofans, producing up to 50,000 pounds force or 220 kilonewtons each. Each aircraft can hold up to a maximum of 710,000 pounds or 322,000 kilograms at maximum takeoff weight. This aircraft has a normal cruise speed of 250 knots or 460 kilometers an hour with a range of 1,150 nautical miles or just over 2,100 kilometers. This Boeing 747 started out life as a 747SR for Japan Airlines under the registration of JA8117 wearing the standard 1980s livery of JAL at the time. It started with JAL from 1973 to 1988. As a note for collectors, there are two 1500 scale models of this aircraft from both F-Toys and Hogan. After the Challenger disaster, NASA decided there was a need for a second shuttle carrying aircraft and worked with Boeing to acquire it. Boeing reacquired this aircraft after its service with JAL in 1988 and worked on the conversion to an SCA until 1990. During this time period, the aircraft was registered as November 747BL. NASA took ownership of this aircraft in 1990, now registered as November 911NA, and painted in the standard white and blue livery of NASA. The 747-123SA would perform this function from 1990 to its retirement at the Joe Davies Heritage Air Park in Palmdale, California in 2012. This aircraft's last set of flights would see it deliver orbiter discovery to the Udvar Hazy Annex of the National Air and Space Museum and then take Orbiter Enterprise from that museum to New York City for display at the USS Intrepid Museum. As for the Orbiter Enterprise, construction started on it in 1974 and it was rolled out of the Rockwell International Plant in Palmdale, California in September of 1976. Originally planned to be named Constitution, a fan writing campaign convinced officials to rename the test orbiter Enterprise after the fictitious starship of the same name from Star Trek. The Enterprise was initially used for captured and free flight tests from the top of the original 747-123 SEA in the late 1970s. After that, the Enterprise was used for vibration testing on the launch pad at both Cape Kennedy and Vandenberg Air Force Base. Finally, the orbiter was retired to museum life in 1985. After restoration, it was placed at the Udvar Hazy Annex of the National Air and Space Museum near Dulles International Airport. As mentioned before, it would remain there until Discovery was delivered to that museum and Enterprise was delivered to the USS Intrepid Museum on the waterfront of New York City in 2012. If you have friends or family who collect, please let them know about our channel and spread the word. And as always, thank you and like and subscribe.